What does it mean to be too ambitious? I think I need to close the door. Why is it on the automatic focus? Should be on manual focus. Okay guys, you know that it's the end of fashion week when I'm filming an awkward video in the bathroom. My hair is now falling apart. It was really cool at the beginning of the night, I promise. What I mean by awkward video in the bathroom is, well, why would I ever film video in the bathroom? Yeah, exactly. But I, I need a video for Sunday because I want to speak to you guys. We are having such a great thing going on, like a really good connection and really good... I feel at the moment I'm very honest with you, showing you my life as it is, like super raw. And I want to continue doing that in the same way. I wouldn't want to skip any uploads because of my hectic schedule. I just got back from a Ralph Lauren event and this video needs to go live tomorrow. Still dressed in even a jacket, but I'm super inspired and super chatty. Fashion month is coming to the end, which means that next video will be from Paris Fashion Week, which is also the last one. And then when you're watching it, I'll be heading to New York for a special project. This evening, as I was coming back from the Ralph Lauren event, I asked you guys not to ask me questions because I've done that already, <laughs> but I'm doing these kind of like topics this month so that we can talk a little bit more. And I asked you to ask me my opinions on certain topics because I'm a very opinionated person. <laughs> no, just kidding. Well, this is what I think. I have opinions on many topics and I'm never, ever, ever scared to voice my opinions. I think the beauty of 21st century and the freedom of speech is that we can raise and like voice our opinions. So I, I was born in Yugoslavia. It was still Yugoslavia when I was born. And it was communism, which meant that there was no freedom of speech in a way. And I have heard many, many, many stories about this. And I would hate if world would be the place where we cannot voice our opinions. So this video is going to be about my opinions on certain topics. It does not mean I'm right. And I'm most likely not right in so many things. It's just how I was raised and how I kind of grew up to be this person. And that's what my opinions are going to be like. One other thing I wanted to say is that I never give my opinion unless someone asks me for it. <laughs> because I think being opinionated without anybody asking you for your opinion is also considered rude and unnecessary. But you guys asked, I want to respond in my beautiful bathroom at the Royal Monceau. Just love the light in here, you know, so I have to use it. So. Well, let's see what kind of things did you guys ask. Usually you like to be quite personal, so, and I don't mind, you know, it's all of your right. What do you think about age difference in lovers? Wow, like literally the first question. I'm not even gonna avoid it. So I'm gonna go straight into it. I do not think age means anything, absolutely anything, anything at all. I have a lot of friends who say that I should be dating older guys because they think that that's what suits my personality a bit more. However, I always get attracted to younger guys. I've dated younger guys in the past as well. And it's just about my energy and my vibe. However, the guy that I'm with doesn't matter how old he is. What matters is how kind and smart he is. Also need someone always that has kind of seen a bit of the same stuff in the world as I have so that we can be on the same wavelengths and I don't think age has anything to do with that. Age is absolutely nothing. Why didn't you attend the Dolce & Gabbana show? I kind of stopped attending Dolce & Gabbana shows ever since the scandal happened racist comments happened i do sometimes feel guilty about that because i think you know what there's a lot of people working for that company and it's not their fault that the designers are racist like some people just have to support their families and they have to get their paycheck and they have to do stuff and i don't think it's fair that you know the company might not be doing so great because of like for these people so sometimes i do feel guilty about this and i do consider like what's the smartest thing to do but i'm still not going to their shows marriage and kids my opinion on marriage and kids is that it's when marriage is functional it's the best thing in the world it's a theme and i think you should always find somebody that is your best friend first and foremost um, kids are the best thing in the world. I love children so much like children and dogs are the best thing in the world I think no, this sounds so weird. No, I didn't even drink. This is just me But I do believe that children and dogs are the best thing in the world like I literally Exchange so many images every day with my sister and they're all of my nephews like you guys wouldn't even believe it But look if we go through our conversation, it's just like my nephew eating burek and like 
my other nephew smiling, then my nephew reacting to a video message I sent, and so on and so on. I love children. I would love to have many, many children one day, hopefully. Yeah, like, you know, you never know what future brings. I mentioned this many times before in my life. My mother runs a fertility clinic, so they do, like, IVF procedures, and they help people that cannot have children. So I know how painful this can be because I've, like, seen a lot of cases, heard about a lot of cases, and I know how difficult the topic can be if someone cannot have children. So I know it's a very sensitive topic, and I urge you all to never be insensitive when it comes to these topics because you never know if someone actually cannot have babies. I mean, I've never tried, but you never know what life might bring, you know? Um, let's see. What do I think about the future of the influencer industry? It's a very difficult topic. I think the whole world is going a little bit more digital nowadays. So I do think there's a lot of future in it, but I do believe that you have to be, if you want to stay in the scene for a long time, you have to be very considerate and smart. There's people who have different strategies. So people who just want to make quick money and disappear, which is also fine. There's no right and wrong. But that is not what I want to do and that is not what I aim. I aim to do this, first of all, even if I wouldn't make any money whatsoever, I would still do this because what my main goal is, is building a name for myself in the industry that I have always dreamed of working in. My opinion on Brexit. I'm super not political. I'm not going to discuss this on the video at all because my parents raised me that there's no space for politics in my life, kind of, in a way. I come also from like multicultural family, in a way. Like, I have a lot of different religions and backgrounds in my family, which means that also politics I've never discussed at the table. However, of course, you guys know that I am a foreigner in England, so I, of course, was not happy about Brexit, but... How to stay humble but help the self-assured vibe. I find it very rare but a great trait. You're like that. Thank you so much. Confidence is a completely different thing to arrogance. Giving yourself like compliments can be a little bit awkward. I do this sometimes though with my friends. But they know that I'm joking. <laughs> so it's different and they do the same with me. With knowledge and with age comes the self-confidence and that's absolutely normal not to have it at young age. But to be kind and to be humble is the most important trait in the world much more important than anything else being on the ground is what my parents have always 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 made me my dad always used to tell me even when i was a teenager and i would have crazy days he would always tell me like you need to remember like no you're not paris hilton like you're you're my child and you you need to act as a responsible and as a polite lady he was quite right like quite harsh actually you know and I'll never forget that, but I don't know why Paris Hilton, but that's the kind of thing he always used to tell me. I think being humble and being kind and just remembering that you're only one out of seven billion is very important. And you know what? Like you could be gone tomorrow, we could all be gone tomorrow and the world would still keep going. It's not gonna stop. This question saying, are you superhuman? Far from a superhuman. Look, I'm not a superhuman. I've been running around now for five, six weeks. My skin looks actually kind of bad because I haven't been eating properly. I haven't been like sleeping properly, but it's all gonna be over in only a few days time. <sighs> Popular topic on internet these days is negativity and negative comments online. What do you think about this? That's an interesting question. I actually opened this video saying how important I think opinions are, positive and negative. Actually, he got inspired to film this video by one of my friends from Serbia. He's kind of a Serbian YouTuber, I would say. He filmed a similar video, so crediting him for that. What he often says at the end of the video, please leave a comment or like and dislike this video. You know, usually people say like, please like this video, but he always says like or dislike this video. And I find that so genuine and so true. Like you don't have to like this video, you can dislike it. And that's still gonna be okay because that's your right. Imagine if you had to like, you know, I get a, like not a lot of negative comments, but I do get negative comments. Like I get comments that say, oh, like you've had like full face of plastic surgery, like you're all plastic, you're fake, you've had so much Botox, you, you're, you come from a family of like criminals or like mafia or whatever, and you have dodgy money or like you this and that. And like, I'm kind of like, I mean, you, you have 100% right 
to have an opinion of someone even when it's wrong because start from yourself like i have sometimes maybe or shape sometimes wrong opinion of somebody you know like that's just life like when i was maybe 10 my first ever teacher who shaped my life told me life is unfair and the sooner you accept that the happier you'll be and that's just what it is and actually i think that's what it is you know what like i get negative comments like i get positive comments too if that's the price i have to pay to do what i absolutely love and adore i'm okay with that i know that like there are negative spaces online which comment like really terrible things about me about my family i like go on tv in serbia specifically and under like a tv interview there are comments that are so terrible about my family members about me like really terrible about my father and i don't read them like you know if i if i don't want to let negative energy into my space i just don't read them and i never read them because that's also my right i don't have to read negative comments people have right to leave negative comments people have right to have opinions of me that i'm a terrible person and the moment i understood that my life became so much better bullying is never okay i had this discussion with my friends we kind of had a few disagreements in the end we all agreed on the same thing bullying is never okay bullying is a terrible thing and i know that because i was bullied in high school because i come from a different background to ever i came from a different background to everybody else so it kind of shaped me it did make me though stronger but i know that not everybody is same and bullying is a terrible terrible thing that i would strongly like to fight against in my life if i could have one mission i would fight against bullying i also think that we are adults like i'm 30 year old grown ass woman someone calling me fat i'm not gonna go to my room and cry like you know what like yeah i can handle it <laughs> Okay, my battery died, so I'm sorry if I'm out of the frame, but I need to continue this. And I'm too opinionated as it seems because I'm answering for too long. I'm sorry. Okay, question on Bama featuring Kylie makeup. I do not own a single Kylie makeup product, never did, never bought. I don't normally uh, go for the hype, never ever have I ever, so I haven't bought a single piece of Kylie makeup just because I'm kind of like. I don't believe in the products. So I was yesterday gifted the Balmain. I was gifted the products, but I don't really think anything of yet. It doesn't matter that I was gifted. I can still say that I think the whole like Kylie thing, like, you know, just sells because of her popularity. Why am I not in focus? I opened the palette and I saw the one of the shadows have already like crumpled. I don't have a problem telling you guys when I'm not impressed with something, no matter if it's a gift or not. So it is what it is. Uh, how come every fashion show you said this is my favorite it's not possible to have i have never said that this is my favorite i did say that this versace show no i actually didn't even say about versace because i wouldn't say that this versace show was my favorite considering that i was at one which was kind of 20 years of gianni versace's death so not even for versace did i say which was featuring jlo that it was my favorite perhaps for dior spring summer 20 i said this is my favorite dior collection that i have ever seen and it is i've only seen four or five like i think so far but you know what i mean like i would never I'm, i i think you got me mixed up with someone else because i, I wouldn't say for every show that is my favorite what do i think about two ambitious people i think when worded this way it sounds like it's a negative uh, thing to be ambitious what does it mean to be too ambitious what is the scale of being ambitious not ambitious at all ambitious too ambitious so is anybody who's more ambitious than you or me or anybody too ambitious i don't know it's a philosophical question but i'm a big philosopher so i think there's no such a thing as so ambitious as long as you're not harming anybody on the way to your goal i'm a pretty ambitious person but i do not look around i'm like a horse you know i do my own thing i go for my goal and i don't let anybody pollute my space so i do not compare myself and you should never ever compare your life your happiness your goals to anybody and especially not to people on instagram trust me it's all fake i see a lot of people who pretend to be so happy on instagram and i know they're not um what do i think about working hard on your dream but no results i think you need to try a different technique because if you're constantly trying to achieve the same goal with the same technique which is not working it means you need to try a technique you cannot achieve a different result trying the same thing so definitely change things up but keep going and do not give up what do I think about Muslims? 
I think about every religion, every sexual orientation, every color of the skin or background or political opinion. I think the same, we're all people, we all come from the same, like we all are built in the same way, our old bodies are built in the same way, we all have same potentials, we're all tabula rasa, when we're born that means a blank piece of sheet in Latin. Honestly, like, I think we all have, we are all like start from the zero and that's all that matters. I look at people's hearts, I have a lot of Muslim, Christian, Jewish, all sorts of religions. My camera died for the second time and I think I have to finish this vlog here. So as you can see in the background there, I'm now vlogging on my phone. I was saying I have friends of all different backgrounds and I judge them based on their heart. If I judge somebody, I could judge people based on their knowledge or education, but never on their color of the skin, religion, if they're gay, straight, be nothing like at all. If they're like whatever they are, I love them based on their heart and on their brain. So never ever ever judge people based on their religion i think that's so shallow that's my opinions on dot 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 thank you for watching this video clearly we ran out of cameras so sending you my love and i'll see you soon bye guys